Dear subscribers, we are glad to welcome you to our channel. This video will show and tell about the broken German equipment of the SS Westland Regiment, which was destroyed by the Red Army in the vicinity of the village of Bear Valley, Donetsk region. Fighting for Donbass We would like to express special gratitude to the subscribers who provided charitable support in the search for the dead and missing soldiers of the Second World War. We are on the Shuklin field. This is the height of 199.5. We have already stumbled upon two locations. In the first location we can see the broken equipment, possibly of English production. Here in the plowed earth there is a shutter. The bolt from the rifle system Mauser K98. Here there are fragments of metal. Search operations are continuing not far from it. Bone remains were found on the surface. It's a broken hip bone. It can be seen that the bone is damaged by agricultural machinery. It can be a tank driver, it is quite possible and infantry. There are spent German cartridges. Also below there is a shot from an English machine gun. English is very similar to German. A full pile of metal. Metal is also visible from the pit. And these are burnt clothes. Now we are heading towards the location where the bone was found. Nikita, where was the bone found? If there are no more bone remains nearby, then we will expand the square and process the site completely, because the bone has been plowed, and there should be other remains of the soldier. I'm sure we will. Nikita, is the signal on the metal detector strong? Well. Initially I thought that there would be one scrap metal again, but I am very glad that the bone remains of the missing warrior were found. This year, it has already been 151 soldiers found. The year as a whole turned out to be successful. We have already found a large number of missing persons, some of them are saved name. In future releases, we will post information about the established names and the places where they were raised. This is a helmet. The plow caught on top. Now we'll find out if there is a skull under it. It turns out to be a German steel helmet. I assumed it was Soviet. Nikita, let's dig up some more, we need to find out if there are bone remains. Well, agricultural machinery has picked up the helmet well. Well, what is it? Expand, Nikita. A German soldier. It's lying right here. Andre, here are the remains of a German serviceman. That's how a soldier lies. You can see how the technicians walked over the helmet. Let's move on. There is metal from the equipment here. 
It's a piece of armor. The echo of war. There are a lot of already raised details from the equipment. Quite a heavy sheet. But earlier we lifted more. We managed it. Andre, thank you. There was aluminum and it was burned. Yes, there is gunpowder inside. Andre, you can't pull him out like that. You need to dig around and then pull him out. That's all we've found so far. And so, Andre gave me an unknown object, who knows from subscribers, write in the comments. There is a store for PM3840. There is a rocket launcher in his pocket, and these are glasses. Now consider. Here they are. The glasses were hanging around his neck. A known thing made of copper. There may have been pouches for the MP40 magazine, but I don't see any belts yet. The locations where Andre continues to work are metal again. <laughs> metal from machinery. We don't know what exactly it is. Seeing it for the first time, you might think that there was black paint, but most likely this is a consequence of burning equipment. And metal. We return to the location where the soldier is located. Yesterday we didn't have time to finish the location, because it quickly got dark. Last night, after the sweep, we managed to read interesting stories about the Westland Regiment. This regiment was part of the SS Viking Division. The most interesting thing is that it was typical for this special unit to dig in with battered equipment to strengthen and disguise. Thus, they made combat and shooting positions, the so-called burrows. The Germans often used broken equipment, dug trenches, firing positions and points under it. Therefore, it was typical for this unit. Well, we will continue to produce archaeological sweep, and then we'll start looking for other locations. What a large number of shells were found in the pit. I think they were put into a funnel back then, and the casings were taken away. If you come across such items, then contact the Ministry of Emergency Situations or any other service that removes explosive items. Do not forget that war is death and misfortune. One of the shells turned out to be quite interesting. It has something like a carving made in it and most likely it could have been used as a grenade or mine. A detonator is screwed into this thread. It's amazing. It's a radiator. A 
shovel won't fit in here. We found one on another field somehow. Only that one was aluminum, and this one was copper. Here is such a form, a label, 75 millimeters. Nineteen forty two. Here is such a large ray of light visible through the clouds. A beautiful sight. Artillery shells are again. But this time it is also visible with a cartridge case. It's German. All beaten by shrapnel and blown up, and then more shells are seized. The signal was good, so there should be a lot of cartridges. What's it? Oh, it's Luke. What a nice hatch. Why he started, I don't understand yet. There must be something else underneath. The wire stretches and something else. This is a 45 millimeters caliber. We have finished the location. Now I will tell you what was found from the objects and what features the bone remains have. There are a lot of broken equipment in the location. There is also a large number of fragments, which indicates that this is a funnel. It is noteworthy that one foot is wearing a shoe, and the other is wearing a boot. It is interesting. I assume that the soldier had damage to the soft tissues of the leg and the poet wore a boot on one leg in order to be more comfortable in the injured part of the leg. Part of the boot and part of the high boot were plowed by agricultural machinery. I assume that he was wearing an anorak and camouflage, and there were pants under it, because there is no remnant of a tunic. In the area of the right thigh there are fragments of a strap for a flask or possibly for a bowler hat. Of are the rocket launchers. It's green. This is also green. There are three green rocket launchers here. On the other hand, there are metal rocket launchers here. There is a wallet on top. That's so interesting. On the reverse side there is a German spoon fork. A little rotten, but as a very curious specimen. From above we can consider a comb. Let's take a closer look and here you can read the inscriptions, if it's interesting. There is a candle in his pocket. He could be a motorcycle driver or some other equipment, and possibly a mechanic. There is a lighter case nearby. There are flints inside. And the next item is a lighter, which is already crumbling. An interesting object, the lighter is brilliant. There is paper on top. Perhaps there was a newspaper or some kind of document. There are
there are buttons and a magazine for the MP38-40 machine gun. It is curved at the bottom. These are condoms with leftover paper. Most likely it's from here, it was together. Next. There is such a wallet. Most likely there were buttonholes in it. Because there were remnants of black fabric and silver thread. Here the imprint of the buttonholes is well drawn. We will collect and put it in place. And this is lightning, most likely from a wallet. Next there is an anther to the rifle of the Mauser K98 system. There are buttons from the pants. There is another candle. He wears glasses around his neck. It looks serious. There are a large number of fragments around it. Probably killed by a splinter hit. The steel helmet was under agricultural machinery. With a full sweep of the location, this is clearly visible. He has a watch on his left hand. On the reverse side there is an inscription that you can take a closer look at. And so, time stopped for 9 hours and 5 minutes. Now we will fix the soldier and take him out of the location. It is also worth noting that the fighter has sealed teeth. And so, we found a large amount of metal. There are all sorts of hatches, parts from the equipment. You can take a closer look at the German gas mask tank, or rather what is left of it. There are torn and whole casings, too. The detonation occurred right in the trench. From this side, you can see the armor, a large piece. As for explosive objects, you can see the number that has been raised. Not much, but there is something to hand over to the Ministry of Emergency Situations. These are the remains of the radiator. Moving on. The most interesting thing is that the SS death token. I remind you that this height is 199.5 in Slavyansk. This is the SS Westland Division. The Westland Regiment was part of the SS Viking Division. In the summer of 943, 
the regiment was transferred to the borders of the village of Golyadolina and the village of Bogorodichnoye in order to stop Soviet tank offensives towards the village of Dalgampoy in the Kharkiv region. A German armored vehicle and a mobile anti-tank gun at an altitude of 199.5, was destroyed by the Red Army troops. We managed to find just one of the fallen soldiers near the remains of broken equipment. In the course of studying the location and thoroughly examining the soldier, we found that the warrior died as a result of the explosion. A large number of shrapnel wounds, broken left and right ribs, as well as a broken left collarbone and damaged fibula. Not far from this location, broken equipment was found, but already Soviet, as well as the skeletal remains of Red Army soldiers. You will be able to see more about this in the next issues. On the cover of our channel, you can go to our Instagram page.